Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Book of Unwritten Tales. My name is Flutus Burr. This is your Story Base Gaming channel. And today, we are Wilbur trying to become a mage. In order to do so, we need to get a couple things. We need to make ourselves a robe. We also need to get a uh, pointy stick to cast spells with. And, and I'm excited. He's excited. Look at his eyes. He, he's, he's so excited. Okay, he's shaking his head. Maybe not. But at the same time, I, I can't wait for us to uh, become a wizard. And uh, let's go ahead and do it. Oi, wait, you, you. Okay, what did we just walk into? Yeah, exactly. We got Reaper Cheap over here fighting a. <laughs> wow, a super villain. I hope you're all having a wonderful I'll day today. You, if it's the last thing I do, it'll be your turn sooner or later. <laughs> oh, I just saw he, uh, he's not really human, is he? Uh, he's got what, uh, he's a satyr? Or a, I don't know where I'm going with that. I think I'm just gonna stick with satyr. For the only thing I know. What is Mr. Thomas, a fawn. That's right, a fawn. That's why I was going with this. Yeah, it could be a fawn. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, you. Why is that rat still alive? Okay, now we know the rat we I'm have to get. working on it. Well, good. What do you want? Can you tell me anything about the rat? I... So, I bring you the King of Thieves mask, and in return I can choose three things from your stock of goods. That's the deal. If you don't manage it, I'm going to hire in some mercenaries. I want that rat. Okay, uh, I need to coin. Maybe I'll come by later. If you have to. So where do we start? I think we start outside. Hi, bunny. Can't pick up the bunny. Um. You know, I bet you anything we have to use a shrinking potion. Or the world enlarging potion. To get into the hole that the rat's in. Uh, sort of like... What was that game? Uh, the first Dragon Age game? That's the crystal ball from the mage school. Master Marcus says he received it as a promotional gift. I have no idea what we do with the crystal ball. There's not much world magnification potion left. Okay, that's good to know. I can only use it when I need it. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. It looks like a shipwreck over here that I could explore. And then the upper world. This must be the, uh, what are they called? The, um... Uh, the forest, uh, the swamp of... Swamp of Death. Swamp of Death, that was it. Okay. I think this is my, uh, spell stick. I don't really know what kind of tree it is, but it looks very slender and flexible. Question is, how do I... I how do I get it? Here, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Not so I'm thinking is one of the any. items we get from the merchant is probably going to be used to take this down. I don't know what to do with the rabbit. There's nothing else to do in this area. So let's go ahead and try to see how we hunt down the rat. Sewer, perhaps? Somewhere down there in the sewers, the king of thieves has his realm. But I'm much too large to fit down there. Aha! Uh -huh. The potion is making everything around me get bigger. That'll help when I want to go see the King of Thieves in the sewers. Somewhere down there in the sewers. Okay. The, but I'm much too long. I, I don't get it. Okay. There we go. Still kind of big. I'm almost small enough to get into the sewer, but not quite. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm still too big. The world isn't big enough yet. Another drink. To trick ourselves into... Non-existence. We're going all Ant-Man in this episode. Mm, nothing. It seems this portion only enlarges the world to a certain size and no further. Of course. Why can't anything be easy in a point-click game? I'm almost small enough to get... Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, a roll of transparent tape. Can I Wood take sticky? that? Okay. Hmm. A transparent sticky tape on some kind of roll. Looks magical to me. Probably belongs to Master Marcus. Let's check the back room. No demon, no danger. Yeah, the monkey's gone. Okay. So what do we got? We got sticky tape and ink pot. There's still a wee bit of black ink at the bottom of the inkwell. A transparent sticky tape on some kind of roll. Looks magical to me. Probably belongs to Master Marcus. Okay, I'm gonna do my old fashioned try everything. The potion could help get me in. Sis, sis, I know, I know. Let me click on the potion. Hmm. I don't know what to do. A basket. It belongs to Mr. Shieldhand. It contains the rest of his giant sandwich. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Willow Brush. What do you want? According to Master Marcus, I really do have the potential to become a mage. Marcus is teaching again? Yes, and he wants me to be his pupil. I can imagine that. And what does he want? I just have to bring him a magic wand and a mage's robe. And what else? Well, that and a pile of gold. <laughs> there you go. He just wants to rip you off. Yeah, probably. Believe me, you can't become a mage. Don't throw your money down the drain. No, you you're not gonna. See? You're not gonna dash my hopes and dreams. I'm gonna get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Really? I mean, can I go to that other location now? It doesn't say I can go anywhere. Oh, right here. Showman's Wagon. Uh, hello? Whole new world just opened up for us. Welcome to the wonderful Whopper Man. Uh, Whopper Man? Whopper Man? Uh, I think this game is German. What does Whopper mean in German? Like, Wonder Man? Anyway. Wheel of Fortune! Of fields on the wheel. Four colors and four symbols in every possible combination. The chance of guessing the right segment is one in 16. I wouldn't bet my gold on that, if I had any gold. Unless I knew I was gonna win. The chance of guessing the right... The cage is lined with straw. There are lots of pigeon feathers and, uh, well, the other stuff the pigeons leave lying around. Yeah. I'll just take one feather, a big clean one. Okay, got a feather for some. Oh wait, I can use feather for uh, like a writing system, right? Now I can write anything, anytime. But what? And on what? Hmm. Now I can write anything, any. Now I can. Surprised it doesn't like. A lovely big white. Surprised it doesn't combine. There's nothing else of interest in the cage. As long as I don't want to fertilize a couple of football pitches. Yeah. An empty cage, I guess. The sign says, Ziggy, the invisible pink squirrel, may bite. Please stay back. <laughs> uh, Ziggy's doing well, I think. Hi, Ziggy. How you doing? Crazy hairy thing. A cage full of hair. Huh. Here's a small sign saying Bertram, the world's fattest hamster. Aww, that's wow. adorable. I don't know if Bertram really is the fattest hamster in the world, but I reckon he's right up there. Uh, Carolyn? Oh, he's got a magic ball. A crystal ball. Wow. The wagon is like a house on wheels. Probably wasn't cheap. I definitely wouldn't want to get into a punch-up with the pony that pulls this wagon. Yeah, that's for sure. So, I need to replace this one with the one I have. A crystal ball. 
I wonder if the showman really can predict the future with it. A crystal ball. The showman can do much more with his own ball than he could with mine. It's not what I was wanting you to do there, buddy. The showman can do much more with his own ball. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, hello. A young gnome. And he's got outstanding manners to boot. What brings you here? Uh, My name's Wilbur Weathervin. I'm from the White Ridge Mountains, and I have to speak to the Archmage. What he said. Well <laughs> then, young Wilbur. I'm Willie the Wondrous. What can I do for you? Hey, Wilburn and Willie. We, we, we're like two peas in a pod. Uh, you're a showman, aren't you? Are you the showman Master Marcus told me about? I don't know which showman your master Marcus told you about, but I am a showman. Willie Wupperman's the name. Some people call me Willie the Wondrous, but I only run my little fun fair on the side. First and foremost, I'm a fortune teller. Ah, uh, he says you're very rich. Is it true that you're very rich? Why do you ask? Do you want to rob me? Yes. So what we need to do is this crystal ball works. This crystal ball will tell us the answer to the one in 16. We have to swap our crystal ball with this crystal ball and then place a bet on the one that hits the one in 16 to earn the gold that we need to pay the guy the gold. That's where I'm going with this puzzle. <laughs> As a fortune teller, you, you'd have to know if I wanted to rob you, wouldn't you? I like you. Of course I would know. I think, no, you don't want to rob me. Wrong. What do you want then? I just don't want to rob you so accepted into the mage school. publicly. A pile of gold? Uh -huh. hmm. I do have that much gold here, but it's the top prize from the Wheel of Fortune. I can't just give it to you. Of course not. That would be too easy. Can you really predict the future? Of course. People come from all across the land to ask me for advice, and I give them good tips in exchange for good gold. And what do they want to know? They want to know, for example, if the price of bread is going to rise. Then I tell them, yes, the price will <laughs> rise. <laughs> then everyone buys lots of bread as a precaution, and the price really does rise. Fascinating. <laughs> or the women <gasps> want to know what next season's color will be. Manipulate supply and demand. I always know. So if you say that the ladies will be wearing green next year... They all go out and buy green. Then everyone wears this green. This guy's a genius. You must be an excellent fortune teller, then. The best. Would people pay me so much gold for my prophecies if I wasn't? Could you predict my future for me, please? I'd really appreciate it. I see that I can. For a bunch of money. Wow. But I don't have any gold. Not a problem. I see that I can't. I perceive that oh, wow, today he is. it's going to be on the house. The way he says Ooh, it's kind of creepy. Weird. So, come on. Om, om, hocus pocus. I see the future. What do you want to know? Uh, is this eventually going to be a happy ending for me? <laughs> so, still going to happen today. Sex question I'm going to ask you. Um, all these are tricks. Uh, if I say this, he's gonna say something, and we're gonna go really. It's gonna go really, and I'm gonna go really, and he's gonna go, yep. Uh, what will the day bring? I see darkness. Wow, this is like Quest of Goli 4 all over again. The day will end in it. Hmm. Even I could have predicted that. <laughs> Today you are going to play Wheel of Fortune. And when you do, you're going to ask yourself if you'd have done so without my prophesying it. Do you want to know more? Prophesying, that's a tricky spelling. Will I be able to master the tasks that lie before me? 
No. You would be better off giving up and what going home. What a jerk. But then I would have failed. Yes, sir. And I'd have been right. <laughs> Do you want to know anything else? <laughs> oh, that's so true. He's, he's good. If you can see into the future, tell me what question I'm going to ask next. You... Well... Oh, the connection's broken. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Your question was perhaps a bit too specific. My gift is very erratic. Mm, thanks just the same. That was very interesting. Ooh, strange. What was strange? Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Uh, can I, what's going on with these cages? These cages, what are they for? Oh, the animals used to be part of my fair, but since I started earning my money with fortune telling, they're just a hobby. Apart from the pigeons, of course. What's with the pigeons? The pigeons deliver my prophecies throughout the land. I work mainly for people I don't know personally. Why? Well, how shall I put it? Should a prophecy not quite come to pass, then it's better to be far away, don't you think? Wow. Um, Bertram is usually... <laughs> Aw, he's adorable, though. The way he breathes. Uh, excuse me, but your hamster, Bertram, isn't he a little overweight? Of course. He's the fattest hamster in the world. But isn't the cage just a touch too small for him? No. Bertram likes it cozy, and he doesn't move around all that much. Oh, imagine that. Um, can I go have a, I think it's something I about a squirrel. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with a squirrel? You think so? It looks pretty normal to me. What's up with this? You're oh! All right, aren't you? Oh. I hope he's all right. It's such an impressive animal, don't you think? Um, hair How pink. do you know the squirrel is pink? Have you ever seen it? I haven't, but I'm quite sure it's pink. You come across the pink ones more often. Come to think of it, how can it have a color if it's invisible? The zoologists aren't quite sure. You could say it's still a mystery. So I need to... <sighs> Darn it, hold on. I need to do that again. Hello. Wilbur. Actually, before I do this, let me try spinning the wheel first. See, what? He's supposed to go over here. And while he's over here, I'm supposed to switch the uh, the crystal balls out. Could I have a go on the Wheel of Fortune, please? With pleasure. How does it work? As you can see, there are four different colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. You tell me which color the wheel is going to stop on. If you manage to get it right three times in a row, then you win the jackpot. Wow! Isn't it rather unlikely that what someone would be able that? to guess the right color it's one sixteen times, times one sixteen times one sixteen? If it was easy, then the top prize wouldn't be a sack of gold. Okay. Which um, color up a cup do you want? So what is 1 in 16? 1 in 16 is equal to 0 0.0625. So you multiply that by 1 in... Sorry. Multiply by 0 0.0625. And then you multiply it by 0 0.0625. And then you times that by 100. And the odds of that happening is 0.024%. Or 0.02%. I did the math right because it's 116 times 116 times 116 right I think so 
Yeah, it's a uh, six and a quarter percent times three, or six and quarter. No, I think it's six. I think it's point zero six. It's a uh, point zero six two five times three, which means if that's right, no, that's not right. I was I think I was right the first time. It, it's a really low percentage, my friends. Okay, it's a very low percent. Blue. It'll stop on blue. All right then. Off we go. Oh, sadly, no! that was completely wrong. Do you want to try again? No, I'm okay. I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you wish. You are welcome to try again later. Alright, um, so let's talk to him. About the, the little guy over here. Hello. Wilbur. And something not quite right about sure Squirrel. Nothing, you think it look and then I need to... Maybe the crystal ball from the mage school would work better. His other predictions are pretty useless. Ha! Told you that would work. You're all right, aren't you? Aww. I hope he's all right. It's such an impressive animal, don't you think? Uh, yeah, very funny. Oh, yes. Cute little rodent <laughs> there. But feisty. He could rip off your finger with those fangs if you're not careful. He's got those big sharp teeth. What if I'm supposed to take that as well? I don't think so. Well, unlikely it'd be one of the two things. I'll try. Where'd my crystal ball go? Hello. Wilbur. Um. Oh, this is different. Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Home, home, hocus poke. Hmm. That looks a lot different than it did last time. Yeah, it does. Mr. Whopperman? Hello? He looks like he's completely out of it. <laughs> Wonder if I can ask him questions. Huh? Was, was that an answer to my question? This is weird. Can you speak as well? This is really weird. Okay. Uh, well, I meet the Archmage. Will I fulfill my mission and give the Archmage the ring? Ah! No? But then... Then it will all be for naught. No? Hmm. Weird. Paradoxical. Will something bad happen to me during this adventure? <laughs> yeah, of course. Will, will I... Be hurt? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to... Die? Oh, dear lord. Oh... Then tell me. Huh? I must have fallen asleep again. Excuse me. You you don't know anymore. I, I don't. I need a no. question to ask him. About what? But I don't know what the question oh, is yet. Nothing. I think he really saw into the future this time, but he seems to wake up after a few questions. Exactly. That's the crystal ball from the mage school, master. Okay, let's go. So what now? We've been everywhere, right? Backtrack time? That is the ghost mirror. Master Marker says it's a gateway to another world, but only ghosts can pass through it. Weird. Can't. Weird thing, sorry. Could I maybe just once? No. But I... Just for pupils. Ah, no fun. 
and then, oh, I'd give a lot to be able to read these books, but I'm sure only students are allowed to do that. Oh, hold on. Let's talk to everyone too. Maybe seeing the future had some sort of effect. That's the Marcus. Yes. Because we know this game seems to be, uh, when you do a certain thing, it triggers other things in order for those things to happen. I was at the showman's. Can you tell me more about him? Well, he's an odd one, a trickster, claims to be a mage or even a fortune teller. He takes advantage of people's gullibility. Years ago, I used to reproach him for that, but not anymore. Why shouldn't you take advantage of people's stupidity? No one forces them to be gullible idiots, do they? Wow. I don't think that's right. Yeah. I didn't expect you to. It's messed up. I'll go and get what I need then. If you say so. Okay. Nothing else here? Let's talk to the merchant. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, you. Why is that rat still alive? Because I can't get in the sewer. I'm working on it. Well, good. What do you want? Um, yeah, I can't get in the sewer. I'm too big. I tried to get into the sewers, but I'm too big. <laughs> I bet you haven't been able to say that too many times, eh? <laughs> I've got something for you here. Oh, really? It's a shrinking ring. Oh! It makes the shrink. That might help. Thanks. What do you mean, thanks? Uh, me first. I'm trying to help you, you piece of dirt bag. You know what? Just keep the ring. I can look for another way to get into the sewers. I'm sure something will come to me over the next couple of days or weeks. You won't have any problems dealing with the King of Thieves <laughs> until then, will you? Mm, right then, here. Nicely played, Wolver. I'm going to kill that rodent. Really, he doesn't follow the subtitles. He said vote instead of rat. Um, I don't think I've chosen this I want this to yet. buy something from you. I don't have money. I need a magic wand. Do you have any in stock? Of course. I have the largest range of magic wands you'll find anywhere. Excellent. But you know, magic wands have to match the mage. So they have to come down to test the wands personally. I am the mage. Soon? Soon. You? <laughs> That's a good one. I mean it. I don't have any time for kids messing about. I'm not messing but about. I need a magic wand to be accepted into the mage school. Please, let me try it. Ah, uh, well, if you must, come here. Here. Wave it around in the air a bit. Okay, so... Nothing? Mm. Try this one. It's five and a quarter inch balsa, threaded with a lugworm spinal cord. Mm, this is going to take some time. Later. I've had enough, that's it. There's not one single spark of magic in you, and I'm not having you waste any more of my time. Aww. But that was only four magic ones. That <laughs> was only four. <laughs> I don't care, I've had enough. I haven't got any more anyway. <laughs> it's just later. Only Go one and more find wine. a wand somewhere else. And thanks for all your help. So maybe that tree was the one I need. Thanks for nothing. Oh, maybe I could buy something else from him now. It's there inside me. I know it. I just have to find the right wand. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, you. Why is that rat still alive? I'm working on it. Well, okay, I want to buy what? Uh, well, the magically treated material. I need some magically treated cloth. About a roll. Yep, I've got that here. That's two gold per thigh. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> that seems pretty expensive to me. The prices have just gone up. You just can't imagine how much demand there is for magically worked cloth when there's a war. I'm only one who wants it. A business. Scammer? I don't see anything I want. To hmm. <sighs> I have to go. Maybe I'll come by later. If you have to. Okay, let's. So I have. 
thing is creepy. Very disturbing. The merchant's ring. It's supposed to shrink its wearer. Let's see if it works. How does I press the right button instead of the left button? Oh, that's disgusting. Hmm? Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Somewhere down there, but I'm much too... Okay, now I use it. Needs must. Oh. Now I do this. The potion is making every. Okay. By your powers combined, I am Mini Wilbur, or Wee Wilbur. Wee Wilbur. I, won't I love go it. When we're in the sewers, off we go. Wilbur the Wee. Oof. That smell is not exactly inspiring. I wonder where that. Oh my God. That's far and no further. Who are you? And what do you want? My name is Ingeo Montoya. I'm here to die. Uh, uh, my name is D'Artagnan, and I'm the best swordsman in the world. I'm God. So if I very well, you probably like a stupid farmer. Uh, of course, I'll play on the Monkey Island uh, insult sword fighting. I like the D'Artagnan. The Three Musketeers was always something I really, really loved. My name is D'Artagnan, and I'm the world's greatest fencer. On guard. Wouldn't it be more impressive if you at least had a sword? That wouldn't help me much either. <laughs> In reality, my name is Wilbur Weathervin. I'm a powerful mage. Almost. Almost. And yes, I know I said the quote wrong. My name is In Indigo Mentoya? Guy's first name. You killed my father. Now I'm prepared to die. I think that's it. God, I need to rewatch that movie. It's been too long since I've seen it. Uh, so I got seven of them urchins. That was impressive. We got a task to carry out. Um, start with the top one. I watched you escape from the merchant. Very impressive. Thank you. Uh, but I think the merchant sees it differently. I thought you looked like a real hero. Although, although you're nothing but a thief. That is undeniable. Is that I an apple? The Many or a hilt? And I do it again. Uh, why'd you become a thief? Why do you do it? Why do you steal? Perhaps I'm just greedy. Have a look around. I love the luxury. I uh, don't believe that. If I were to say to you that I have to look after my family and friends, huh? that there's not enough food left for us rats since the inhabitants fled, would that change anything? No. I would still be a thief. Aww. Quite a likable one. Yeah. So, can't you get a hold of food any other way? I've got a cast. Uh, let's start the top one. But you have to steal. Can't you find some other way to get food? How? Cultivate cereals down here and then bake bread? We're rats. We haven't got sensible thumbs. <laughs> you could leave the city. There's more than enough to eat growing in the fields and woods. I would go, but how should I get the others out there? Some of them are so weak they are walking on all fours. I can't leave anyone behind. Uh, okay, test carry I'm on a mission from the merchant. I'm supposed to take you out. On a mission from God. <laughs> yes. What's the old skin flint going to give you for that? <laughs> well... I can choose three things from amongst his wares. That means you're hunting me for your own personal profit. You're a bounty hunter, Wilbur Weather, then. No, 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 no. I'm on an important mission, and I need the merchant's help to accomplish it. You should choose your friends more wisely, Wilbur. I'm certainly not going to let myself get caught just so your merchant can have his revenge. Uh, but I need a mask urgently. I need to become one of the Ninja Turtles. Um, or is this Splinter? Make me a disciple. I will become a sword mage. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Why why did you sell that mage? I mean, uh, Devin, a Devin Aidendale, uh, our wonderful hero from Quest for Glory. Yeah, he, uh, he learned both skills very well. And he was also a thief, although I kind of did give up on it eventually. Kind of. Anyway, um, uh, but I need your mask urgently. But I have to bring the merchant your mask, otherwise he won't help me. And then I won't get accepted into the mage school. Which means I'll never be a powerful mage. Which means I won't be able to see the archmage. Which means I won't be able to give him the ring, which means I'll have failed. Quite complicated, no? <laughs> you should see my quest log. In any case, I'm supposed to take you out and then give the merchant your mask. Do you want, do you want to kill me? No. Could you kill me? No. That's another no. <laughs> then you should come up with another plan. <laughs> oh, what if I give you enough to eat? 
But if I were to get you enough food so that all of you could eat your fill, would you then be able to leave the city? Sure, but where are you going to find all that food? Are you going to steal it? Is it theft if you take some bread for a family of starving rats? Yes, <laughs> but we would never forget it. Us rats can help you, you know. You could be of help? If you want to be a mage, you've still got lots of work ahead of you. And you'll be surprised what you can find down here in the sewer. We can get you lots of things you won't find anywhere else. <clears throat> would you do that? Of course. That's the deal. You get us something to eat and make it a generous portion. And in return, we'll help you become a mage. Awesome! But I still need your mask. Sorry. Okay. If you insist, then I'll give you my mask. Yay! Too. But first, you must bring us the promised food. Great, now I just gotta no find problem. out a bunch of I food. Hope. Who lives down here beside yourself? Oh, lots of interesting people. Uh, my family and all the other remaining rat oh, families. Oh god, how many rats are there? Uncle Juan joined us recently. This is gonna be like Reddit to have a good life in a dwarf bastion. But then a wild robot savagely attacked him. He fought for his life. Bravely. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, terrible. Terrible. The poor hero still wakes up <laughs> screaming. Uh, but uh, apart from us rats, uh, there are a few slime monsters, giant spiders, a couple of skeletons. What? All the stuff that young adventurers expect to find in the sewer. <laughs> Do a lot of people come down here? Not so much recently. In the past, when the town was more lively, there was always adventurers coming here on the strangest of missions. It was almost as if there was someone standing up there, sending the newbies down the sewer in droves. Crazy. So that's the ideal ship again. That, that story of uh, the sewers reminds me of... I mean, that could be a lot of different RPGs, but especially reminds me of things like uh, the Elder Scrolls. What was the deal with the food and the help again? You get us something really big to eat, and we'll help you with your mage. It doesn't have to be the sewers. It could be like you any get key. My mask to give to the accursed merchant. Right. Okay. I need to get some fresh air. If you want to draw up a new plan of action, eh? <laughs> okay, let's see. Anything else here? We gnomes live below Earth ourselves, but this isn't doing anything for me. The other rats will be back there somewhere, lonely and hungry. That's disgusting sewer slime, and to top it off, it's moldy too. Hopefully I'll never be forced to touch it. And we touch it. <laughs> How else? <laughs> ah! Those are disgusting things. Can we not touch these? I'm not getting any closer than three <laughs> steps away from that. That would be me. So does a moldy slime grow bigger? I am now the proud owner of a handful of slime. Hmm. Now I... Okay, those combine. Alright, um... Let's talk to this guy and let him know. Although we probably shouldn't let him know. He wants the guy dead. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, the mercenary. Have you fixed that rat yet? I think I'll be able to get you the mask soon enough. It's about time. What do you want? Uh... I might. have to go... If you have... Uh... The guy upstairs had food, right? He had a sandwich. It's not enough to feed an entire... The sandwich would be just right for the rats. Really? But I can't just take it from his basket. Mr. Shieldhand would notice. I don't know if that would be enough food. Just a sandwich. Especially if it shrinks. The sandwich would be just right for... Okay, let's ask him about it. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Willow Brush. What do you want? Uh, I don't sandwich. Can I have a bit of it? Um, Mr. Shieldhand... Could you maybe give me a little of your giant sandwich? Nope. Are you sure? Why should I? It's going to be a long day, and I'll still need something to snack on for my next break. Uh, can I... I don't... What about playing a small game for the sandwich? That doesn't require money. Start with the top. Could I maybe buy the sandwich from you? No. You can't eat gold. Well, there's some <laughs> truth in that. <laughs> And how about if we compete for the sandwich in a thrilling game, Mano y Nomo? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of game? Uh, um, you give me a number between one and a hundred, and if you're wrong, I get the sandwich. I like that game. 
And what do I get if I'm spot on? Uh, <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> that. Being there is everything. Maybe two sandwiches or three. Hmm. No. I'm not all that hungry. Aww. And to be honest, I find your game pretty stupid too. I find your then you suggest hat a better one. stupid. Well, there's only one thing. I don't know what I'm saying. A duel. All right, a duel. Death. Yeah, no, um, no. It's that's just a sandwich. Not a good idea. A deck of cards? Wait, what? Of course. What are you thinking of then? And if I win, I get the sandwich? Sure, why not? I have never lost. I'm Seastone's all-time unbeaten champion in every class. Uh-oh. Uh, how does the game work? How does this game work? You're playing Do a you know Master war? of Dragon Slayer's Defender? Not really. Is that like Magic the Gathering? Well, okay, I'll show you. Or Triple We've Triad? We've a stack of cards. Choose ten from your that pile. That was the game for Final Fantasy now, was it? You should see that was you've that got eight? three red, four yellow, and remember. two green. But Later. You've also got a specialism in pole arm weapons and. This was too confusing. Even only later. If your magic is light based, with fire magic or earth magic. Even later. And those are the rules, more or less. Get it? No, I'm. All I'm, right. No idea. But it seems like you don't stand a chance of winning unless you have very good cards. That's not a problem. I've got very good ones. I don't. So, I don't know. Are we have any cards? Okay, then let's play a round. But I don't have any cards. Oh, we take a deck split in half. I, I take know. half. I'll lend you some. Of course, I can't give you the impossibly good cards. They're too valuable. I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with the not such good cards. This is so weird. All right, away we go. It's like a fight saying, "Hey, would you like to Yahoo! play a game?" And it's a super complicated I'm the game. Champion. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, this guy needs to I be could humble. Beat him. It's just my cards. I don't have a chance with these. Like a friend says, hey, let's play a game. And you're like, oh, I don't really know how to play. And like, ah, oh, it'd be fun. And yet they're masters at it and they just wipe the floor with you. And like, ah, oh, wasn't that fun? You just they're singing. No, not really. <laughs> I think the only reason you keep winning is that your cards are so much better than mine. Why don't you let me some better ones? What, so that it would be more difficult for me? Why would I do that? Yeah, that's a point. If you don't want to ensure a fair game, then I'll do it. I'm going to get some better cards. Good luck, then. Where are we going to get cards? I'm going to get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah, right. I don't want to hear you laugh. Go away. Halt! Access only for authorized persons. Or has Mr. Gnome become a mage in the meantime? Yeah, stop laughing Not at me. Not yet. All right, let's move on. Let's go back and uh, ask the uh, the merchant if he has any cards. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Ah, the mercenary. I think I'll be able to get you the mask soon enough. It's about time. What do you want? Uh, I want to buy something. I want to buy something from you. What then? Uh. Playing cards from Master of Dragon Slayer Defender. I would like to buy some Master of Dragon Slayer's Defender cards. Oh, what's that then? A trading card game. You have to have good cards to win, and you can buy small packs of cards to replenish your supply. And you don't know what's in the packs? Nope. You need luck. Sooner or later, something good will be in there. <laughs> you just have to keep buying and trying. <sighs> Upon my ancestors. <laughs> what? Why didn't I think of something like that when there was still folk around here? Sounds like a license to print money. <laughs> so, you don't have any cards? Come back after the war. I'll have some then. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> he has a point. He really does. I used to play Magic back in the day. And, yeah. Um, I, I think uh, I, 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 I used to play Magic back in the day. I don't play anymore. But what I have been doing lately is I had this weird magic tick where I, I found these guys YouTube channel. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry, but uh, they basically play like magic games. Um, the thing is, though, they play with all the best cards because, you know, they have, I don't know. They, they just have a way to get like all the best cards uh, because they have like a sponsorship with like a company that creates cards or something or prints cards. But anyway, uh, the point is. 
uh, I used to play Magic a lot. It's a lot of fun. And uh, because I've been watching the videos, uh, one video popped up recently and said something like, why it's better to just buy cards than it is packs. And their, and their argument is, you know, the chance of you dr dr getting a, like, a super rare card is so low that you're better off just saving up your money and just buying the card and not buying packs for it. And of course, uh, you know, they, they represent a sponsorship with this company that sells cards. So I don't know if, I don't know how much stock I can put in a video like that. But at the same time, they do have a point. And that is that it, it would be super rare to, to draw that card that you need. And you could, you could buy an entire box of magic cards and not get the card that you want. So there is a uh, there is a gambling uh, side effect to that. Uh, I don't see anything I want to buy. Maybe later. Hmm. Why did I stop playing Magic? I, uh, I stopped playing Magic because uh, because um, I had no one else to play with. I left my area that I lived in, and Master Marcus. Yeah, I just yes. stopped playing. Now I could go to a card store or something and. Uh, and try to find something there, but I, I just haven't. Maybe one of these days I'll pick it up again. But you know, I do save a lot of money by not buying magic cards, that's for sure. I know the magic merchant's magic wands worked. I went to the merchant and tried all his magic wands. None of them worked for me. Hmm, there could be two reasons for that. Either he didn't have the right wand for or you, I'm not or magical. there's even less magic in you than I thought. And you don't Perhaps think I have any at all to begin enough. with. As you know, you've really got to believe. And I can't train you without a wand. I'll find a wand. Yes, of course you will. Tanya, I'm pretty sure it's that tree outside. Do you know anything about card games? Have you played Master of Dragon Slayer's Defender? Hmm, yes, I played it for a while before Wob mm -hmm. came out, but I always lost a shield hand. Back then, he was still old Pew's assistant. He always went on and on about how great he was. Does no everyone play World of cards. Bureaucracy? I'm playing against him at the moment and Whatever. I don't have a ghost of a chance. Hmm, I wouldn't mind seeing young Bartholomew knocked from his throne. Here, these are the best cards I've got. Yes! I've got cards! Thanks. I'll put them in my deck, then I can use them in the next match. Give him all you've got. Excellent! I'll go and get what I need then. If you say so. You know another place that I should check though? Uh, the sewers because the guy, uh, the guy, the rat, the rat mentioned that there were, um, there were, uh, things that came in the sewers. Needs must. Oh. Uh, where's my potion? I have my potion. I'm gonna enter the sewer then. Oh, apparently I can just enter it now. Okay, it works for me. Mr. King? How can I help you? They probably did that to save you some stuff, but why do I saw the shrink ring then? Uh, if I was to eat by kick, I'd get to it right the now. The town guard is a huge sandwich, and if I beat him at a game of cards, it's mine. The town guard has always got lots of delicious food with him, but he'd never risk losing any of it. So do you have any good he cards? He must be pretty sure that he's not going to lose his game. At the moment, I'm afraid that's a very real possibility. Mr. Shieldhand has much better cards than I do. Hmm. What kind of cards are they? Different game cards, all with a picture and some text. The backs are blue with brown lines. Hmm, I've seen something like that before. Let me think about it. Very well. Uh, I, need to get... I need to get some fresh air. If you want to draw up a new plan of action. Um, he said he'll think about it. So do I need to leave and come back? Mr. King? How can I help you? I need to get... If you want... Mage teacher's half part? This could be an excellent card. But just one half won't help me much. Sit down and push Black Lotus button. <laughs> Black Locust. So Black Lotus was a super expensive uh, Magic the Gathering card. Um, it's like... If you find an original alpha, I believe the sad is Black Lotus. Those cards 
I had one of those cards, I could easily pay off all my debts and still have money probably left over. They are ridiculously expensive. If I show him this. No. Those are the cards that Mr. Shieldhand gave me. They're much worse than his cards. What do I do with this half card? Where should I stick the card? Or with what? Now I can write anything, anytime. But what? Okay, now I, I, that's got ink. Hmm. Now I can write any. Those are the cards that Mr. She. So I can't pick up those, and I can't give them this. Where should I stick the card? Or with what? Oh, I need to put the tape on the card. Where should I stick? But I don't have the other half of the card. Ah. Okay. But how do I find the other half? I feel I'm gonna lose again when I talk to him. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Will. Uh, let's play again. Another game. You like getting humiliated, then? Oh. Looks like he's throwing Who's dice. Who's the best player in this town? Yes! Shield hand! Yes! I really don't, I don't like this guy. I stand a chance with these cards. I really don't like this guy. I'm off to get... <laughs> really don't like this guy. So where do I go now? Psst. Wilbur. Oh, hello. Down here. Hello. What's up? I've got something for you. A game card. I knew I'd seen something like that before. It was swimming around in the sewer, but it stayed dry. It's got a protective coating, you see? It seems to be part of a special card. Auntie Juanita said that the owner threw himself from a tower after he accidentally dropped it down the drain. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I hope it helps you. Good luck. Thank you, Sir King. Yeah, it's the other half. Uh, Black Locus. Is that a toilet bowl? <laughs> I'll use the magic tape to stick both halves of the card together. It works. There we go. Hmm. The card is strange. It has nubs and a stamped symbol. The writing reflects the light and the text had to be scratched free. This card allows you to take any card played by your opponent at the end of the game and keep it. Wow! That doesn't sound so bad. Wow, that's amazing. I can take the town guard's best cards one by one. He that's... won't like this at all. That's ridiculous. So one by one I can win all those cards. The super card would let me defeat the town. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Willow Brush. What do you want? Uh, I found a playing card here. What's the, why is it like that then? I actually did find a card. Take a look at this. <gasps> is this a special card? I'm only asking because of the nubs and such. It's, uh, it's damaged. Well, it's almost as good as new. Um, uh, no, unfortunately. Absolutely no damaged or repaired cards can be used in play. But I know the rules exactly and I can make no exceptions. You're not allowed to use that. I card. really hate this guy. And you're certain you didn't just make that up? Uh, what? I'm off to get my mage diploma. You'll see. I really hate this guy. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and call a break here because, I mean, my, my life these past couple of days have been very up and down. Um, and I'm just... It's been a lot. I'm also going on a business trip in the next couple of days. Um, so there's going to be three days in a row that I'm not going to be in town. I'm going to have a community post about it. Uh, take a look at that. But I'll be out for three days. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I want to play the game too, but it's just what's going to happen. The good news though is it's a good business trip. Like this is something that I want to go to. Instead of something that, you know, you dread doing. So it's, it's all in all, it's good. It's just, like I said, uh, life is busy. So I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. And I will see you all again very soon. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. 
feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.